Hi, Rob Lucas here. I've been asked by my former PA students to go over nerve blocks that we often use for laser. And if you take a look at this book, I've always used it. I really like it. I don't follow it pr precisely, but um, it has really good anatomy references, and it talks about the dermatomes that we're going after. So if we're going after the supraorbital nerve block, which is this lateral nerve that arises just outside the rim, getting the lateral part of the forehead, uh, the book has you going directly into the into the uh, area of the foramen. But if you want to su uh, combine the supraorbital and the supratrochlear nerve block and get this entire forehead done in one fell swoop, I have a different technique which we're going to go over in video two. It involves one stick per side. It involves far less volume of lidocaine than the book describes. And over 30 years, I really feel like it's the way to go. Um, another uh, block that we frequently do as part of uh, Part of our uh, laser blocks is the mental nerve block. Uh, and that is, uh, can be done transorally or through the skin. This book, which you can get, describes going through the skin. I go through transorally and we'll go over that when we are doing, uh, doing the, uh, the laser in a few minutes. And then if that is combined with the infraorbital nerve block, the infraorbital foramen is referenced here, I, is it being just below the uh, ridge, which is palpable. Uh, in the book, they talk about the foramen being palpable. I haven't found that to be the case most of the time. So if you combine those two blocks on the forehead with one stick, a block for the uh, infraorbital nerve with one stick, and a mental nerve block, you really are taking out, except for the nose, the whole mid face up to the hairline, to the jawline. It's a great way to have people not wake up in pain and we're going to go over the exact technique in the next video.